Do you struggle to know what to do with your hands during an interview? That and a lot of other things probably annoy you. But in all seriousness, we're here to talk about things that bother us during a real estate transaction. Things that annoy us. Yep. During the real estate I'll start first. And my biggest pet peeve is electronic signatures because they're so easy to do. They're so easy to send out. And it seems to take a day to a week to get them back. Yeah, that can be a little annoying. Um, so we do spend a lot of time putting things in electronic signatures. I do find that it's still better than, oh, there go the hands again. Yeah. I do find that it's better than um, wandering over somebody's house at 11 o'clock and having them paper sign the paper. And then so, shoving it through a fax machine and hoping it doesn't uh, get jammed. Oh, the fax machine. How about agents that still use the fax machine? That is insane. Yeah. They uh, wrote it on their dinosaur. Because I, you can tell when they're using some machine that's from the, the dark ages because you get it back and it's all twisted and jammed. And yes. And half of it's dark and you can't read it and it's all fuzzy. And then the lender says, I can't read this. <sighs> Okay. Um, other things, I love it when we over focus on the furniture while we're in the house. We're there to buy the house. The furniture is there as staging. It's probably their furniture or maybe it's staged furniture. But either way, you're probably not buying it. So let's just focus on the house for what it is. And maybe later we'll get you the furniture. But Randy, I don't want to have to move my couch twice. Or, I mean, you're just opening up a can of worms here. Or you buy the house based on grandma's dining room set. Mm, that's that good. you have table. everybody over for on Thanksgiving Day. Let's buy the house for the other 364 days of the year, not based on the one day of the year. I want to get you the house that's right for you, but it might not be perfect. Yep, better get a house than a $400,000 table that comes with a house. Good point. Do you have more? I'm um, just drawing a blank now. I'm drawing a blank. I could keep going all day. I hate it when people park in my parking space. Don't you hate it when you're in, living in a townhouse neighborhood and there's only two assigned spaces and someone's parking in yours? So definitely pay attention to all these things when you're you know, going into the house. And when you're going into the house, be hyper-focused on that house. Put your blinders on and be totally focused on that house. Don't be looking on your phone at other houses. Don't be cheating on the house that you're in there with. Focus on that house. Really look at it because you're probably only going to see that house for 20, 30 minutes before you're going to be deciding whether or not you're going to live in it forever. Yeah. And on that, I love it when people focus on the guy across the street cutting the grass. And what he looks like. And what he looks like. And, and, and how way, his lawnmower looks. Or the way he's looking at them. Yeah. He's looking at you weird because you're looking at him weird. So stop looking at him. It's okay. He's supposed to be out there cutting his grass. And people just love a show. They love to just see what's going on and stuff like that. Don't let any of that stuff bother you. Focus on you, your house, and what makes you happy. How we do? We got enough? I think we're good. We don't want to use all of our material up right now or we won't be able to make any further videos. See you soon.